Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it, it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside, coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and crackling atmosphere the match I think will be quite a spectacle so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game two high profile high caliber teams this is a welcome event for all these supporters well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. best equipped for this game yeah alexandro especially on the overlap down that left hand side he can swing in a, a tasty cross in the byline or cut in himself and take a shot best of all he's so incredibly fit that he can keep doing it for 90 minutes by which time the opposition start to flag and he's still going strong yeah, the scourge of so many strikers Here's Douglas Costa, in with the challenge. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. And it's hoisted clear. And it's Matuidi. Pjanic. Out towards the flank. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Mertens. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And the shot! Goal, Juventus! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Napoli didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? And it's Mario Rui, now it's Insigne. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Matuidi, and it's played forward. Benucci. De Ligt. Benucci. Has he found his man? Forward it goes. 
Ruiz. Zielinski. And here's Insigne. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Koulibaly. Maximovic. Maximovic drives it forward. Alexandro. Alexandro going full steam ahead down the left flank. That intervention was very necessary. Cleared without complication. Juventus are taking a simple, modern approach here. Yeah, but I'm all for simplicity, Peter. If it works, it's good enough. Now it's Matuidi. Matuidi is the guilty party there. He is going into that little black book. <laughs> Pjanic. Benucci, De Ligt, Benucci, Alexandro, Benucci, De Ligt, Alexandro, tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Dybala. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, that is very close. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Alexandro hoists it forward. Mertens, hit long and direct. Politano with the cross. It's a throw. Out to the right. Pumps it into the area. Here's a corner, good chance. Politano moves short. And it's Mario Rui. Dybala, the scorer already in the game. Dybala is steaming forward. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. of the first half. Here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. It has only been that one goal. It is very, very Neither nice. City and presents. We haven't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. <laughs> that's the start of another 45 minutes. Napoli don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Alexandro plays it forward. Cristiano Ronaldo. All oh, the balls come loose. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Matuidi. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that's neat. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Fabian Ruiz. Now it's Ruiz. Napoli still trailing by one. And looking here to he's had a goal. Away from immediate danger. Lorenzo Insigne really was well marshaled there because he was denied the opportunity to to turn. Forward it goes. Alexandro goes looking. And it's Matuidi. It's Ramsey! It's off target and by quite a way. Matuidi. Across the field it goes. Douglas Costa. Ramsey. Pjanic. Plays it out to the flank. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Maximovic gets it away. Zielinski. He spotted the run and played him through. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Your impression so far, Jim? Napoli are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Zielinski. Mario Rui goes to the cross. Now it's Mertens! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. <laughs> Napoli can make their change now with uh, a break and play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Zielinski. Oh, what a ball! He hits it! And the lead stays intact, just. That had a lot resting on it, you know, Peter, and he's visibly cross with himself. Alexandro. And here's Dybala. The message is clear, none shall pass. Lovely bit of skill. Danilo. Oh, sweet feet. Room for a... Stadio! It's a goal! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing.
that's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Five minutes left on the clock. And here's Kaya Hong. Elmas. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Dybala. Douglas Costa. And it's Ramsey. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Kaya Hogg. Elmas. Mertens. Lorenzo shapes to shoot. Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Lorenzo Insigne brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. Koulibaly tries to stroke it through. And there goes the final whistle. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. Your reflections then, Jim. Napoli lost their way after falling behind early. Their concentration was weakened and their character. And that's cause for address. Where we have to end it from me, Peter Drury, and my co commentator Jim Beglin. A very good evening to you all.